What is up, guys? Uh, as promised, I was gonna do my unboxing video of my roll bar that I ordered for my Miata. Now, the roll bar that I ended up going with was a hard dog, hardcore, hard top, dual diagonal roll bar. That's a, that's a mouthful. Um, Hard Dog makes a whole bunch of roll bars, and the reason why I went with this one, obviously, is because I have the uh, hard top on my vehicle, and I need, uh, needed one that I would still be able to use the uh, hard top with it. Some of them don't fit. Um, after doing all my research, uh, this is the one I ended up going with, and this is the M2 version. So it's a little bit thicker than the M1, I believe. There's a couple of... Uh, of differences I ended up going with this now this uh, I also ended up getting a, uh, a harness bar because in the future uh, as part of this build I also want to go race seats on here and I want to go five point harnesses so I'm gonna need a harness bar to be able to uh, house those uh, seatbelt straps and I also got a uh, uh, some padding for the roll bar I've done my research on it I know it's not going to protect my head in the event of a collision or whatnot, or if my noggin hits the roll bar, even if it's padded, um, but it's a little bit of protection. It's gonna offer, it's better than my head going straight into metal. It's gonna hit the, uh, the pad first. And then I got the uh, a leather uh, Velcro pad uh, covering to cover up the pad. So anyways, that's what I got. There is the box. Just got it in the mail. And I ordered this from uh, Bethania Garage. All right, they're out of uh, Bethania, North Carolina. Um, they sell a whole bunch of uh, uh, stuff for the Miata. And this thing came pretty good condition. You know, a couple of uh, little uh, nicks. This is all just from the, uh, the delivery. But I think this box, the way it was packaged, held up real good. We're gonna do an unboxing. It says, do not use blades to open. So we're not gonna use any blades. I'll be back here. I'm gonna take some of these uh, staples off and uh, we'll get down to the uh, unboxing and my first impressions of this product. So here we go. So here it is guys, after about pulling out uh, 100 staples off of this uh, box. Uh, well, so far the pack packaging on this thing looks great. Everything is uh, wrapped up in this uh, foam type paper. Um, I can barely get this thing out. So let me try to uh, unroll this thing. Here, I think you gotta unroll it out. So there it is. This is the uh, this is how Bethania Garage packages their hard dog roll bar. Pretty cool. Um, there's the harness bar. Looks like they have that kind of installed already to this uh, to this uh, roll bar. Um, and this is a bolt-on uh, harness. It's not welded, so. There's that. I'll let you look at some of the other welds, at least, on a hard dog, how hard dog manufactures a roll bar. I've done quite a bit of research on different types of roll bars. This is just the one I ended up going with. So I like it. I don't think there's no damage at all whatsoever that I see on this thing. Um, let's see, a couple stickers. Don't know if I'm going to keep the stickers or not, but uh, I think I'll leave them on for right now. And let's 
let's see here. Some of the, some more weld shots. There, this uh, looks like it's manufactured pretty well by a uh, hard dog. So. And looks like this is the uh, padding. I guess that this padding probably somehow fits over this thing like that somehow. All right, and. And then that gets wrapped around this. This is the uh, focus in there a little bit. So, so I finally got it unwrapped. Um, this is the cover that holds the padding in. There it is, and I got the leather one. They have a vinyl option. Figured since I've putting out the money anyways for this, um, it's gonna go ahead and uh, pay a little bit more to get the leather option. Uh, so there it is. There's with the harness bar. Now even though I don't have race seats on there, it's gonna stay there until I get the race seats on and I uh, won't have to do any more disassembly. And look like, looks like here's all the hardware. Now, let me, let me see if I can get the hardware out real quick. Here's all the bolts and everything that came with it. Looks like this thing's gonna come with everything you need here as far as all the bolts go. And here's the uh, plate backing. So this is gonna go underneath the car and uh, right behind the mounting points. So right behind there and right behind the uh, different mounting points, you're gonna have plate backings uh, behind there that's gonna kind of sandwich the frame of the vehicle in between this uh, insulation process. So there it is. Um, I'm glad I got the harness bar installed. Um, since I got the harness bar, it they didn't charge me extra for the uh, for shipping on this, so came with it. That was kind of part of the reason why I got it. Also, it looks pretty cool with the harness bar on there. Even though it's probably not gonna be used as of yet, one thing I could see is that uh, it, for the time being, it'll just serve as a, an extra brace just to add a little bit more rigidity to the to the uh, overall roll bar itself. So kind of keep the car a little bit more stable. There it is right there. There's my unboxing. First impressions of this uh, uh, roll bar. Uh, pretty awesome product. I'm actually uh, very excited to get this thing um, put onto my car and I'm gonna have an installation video uh, and show you some of the problems, if any, that I uh, came across and how I overcame those problems. So. Uh, be standing by for that video and we're going to show you how that's done here so it's probably going to be a full day project on that i probably won't be able to get too much help everyone's working everyone's got stuff to do so i'll probably be doing this insulation process mostly on my own hopefully i'll get a little bit of help um, with the fitting or whatnot but uh until then thanks for watching and uh we'll see you at the next one peace out